by trying to catch Will Chamberlain again? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just uh, talking to her about it. I was just like, you know, trying to go for my own record at this point, you know, then worry about Will after I catch myself. Uh, not many games left, so you'll have to keep doing yeah. like 12 shots a game. That's probably. true. That's true. I don't know where I'm at right now, but, you know, I don't really want to worry about it too much. Just, just go out and just have fun with the game. But we'll worry about it at the end, for sure. What was working for you tonight? Honestly, just, you know, being active, uh, in my opinion, you know, set screens, getting out quick. It was a team where they was trying to play a lot of uh, one through five. They was trying to blitz, of course, when it came to Luka and Kyrie. So I was just in the right spot at the right time, making plays out of the pocket, going to finish it, or finding guys on the, uh, around the arc. You guys broke out to the 22 point lead there late in the first quarter. Were you trying to? Not that happened in Houston the other day when it was a close game. Yeah, like when it comes to teams like this, of course, there's no disrespect to them. You know, at the end of the day, we just got to come out and handle business. And those teams, <laughs> these type of teams, are not going to lay down. They're going to come out and try to throw a punch. So at the end of the day, Houston threw a punch for, uh, at us for sure. And it was a dog fight from the beginning of the game to the end. So we, we kind of didn't want that to happen tonight. So we just came out with just a different mentality to come out and just handle business. In the Houston game, they played smaller lineups, which can take you out of the game somewhat. Uh, how do you, as an individual, when you're starting out the game, if you guys if you guys enforce your will on them, they play your kind of game, right. which keeps you in the game. Right. Um, with me, it's just you know taking that challenge. You know, they did go. We did go one through five from jump, and it's just you know. I mean, I want to be a better defender in general, and it's just another step that's you know in my playing style that's going to help me defensively is just, you know, being able to come out and move my feet around the perimeter. So at the end of the day, I just want to be able to take that challenge and just come out and just help the team as much as I can. And at the end of the day, if I don't, you know, I'm pretty sure I understand when it comes to just like getting guys in to really just uphold just like the one through five defensive like outcome, out, I say scheme, I would say when it comes to just like how we want to play defensively. But tonight I feel like that I actually took a step in the right direction, most definitely. We've seen Luka have these amazing games a lot. What's that like for you to watch that? Watch that go? Nah, it's pretty natural now. <laughs> in all honesty, you know, you never, you never, I would say, expect what's going to happen on a night-to-night basis. And just seeing some of the stuff that he gets to fall in, it's just, it's insane, you know. And it's like, you know, I, I, I get to the point to where it's like, I shoot a half-court shot or I shoot a trick shot or something like that. I always say I'm trying to be Luka, you know, just joking around, but. You know, great player, comes down and gets whatever he wants on a night-to-night basis. He finds the right shots, he finds the right guys on the perimeter, and there's so much attention that gravitates towards him and Kyrie. It just helps the team out a lot because they make plays on both ends, too. You see the type of fun, speaking of Luka, that he has on the court? Ask him for you, like, is this the most fun basketball team you've played on? Mm, I would say, you know, every team that i played on, I've always had fun with it. There's always been just, like, the frustration find the ways to get to the fun part. So it's just, you know, I've kind of went through that same, I would say, stretch of just like the frustration side. I want to be better. I get in my own head. I find some type of adversity and I get through it and I start back having fun again. So I would say I'm pretty much back in that, I would say, in that state of mind when it comes to this team now too, because it's just, it's just like clockwork, you know. There's not, the storm doesn't last forever. And I always try to find some type of sunshine. The magic number for you guys in cancer playoffs by this one. Mm-hmm. How much do you guys uh, score for Take it. How much do you score boy watch see what's going on around the league? I mean, they always tell us it's important to make sure we know. You know, but me personally, I don't really pay attention to it because I don't want to really just cloud my thoughts and just like, oh, we need to focus on this. I really just say we focus on, you know, the next game at hand. In all honesty, and that's the game we have to play. And when it comes to that, I don't I don't know what the guy, other guys do, but me personally, I really don't pay attention to it unless it just, you know, it just pops up whenever, you know, the FBI is listening to us on our phones, on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, you know, <laughs> they pop it up. But uh, <laughs> other than that, um, other than that, it's just, you know, I try to, I try to keep a level head and I feel like if I get into it and I think about it and I pay attention to it, it's going to really just kind of like make me take a step back mentally. And I don't want to really just be too focused on what comes in the future because I try to worry about, you know, that next step. And just like that next opportunity for us on a night-to-night basis. How do you take what you did tonight and tomorrow night's game against Miami? Just come out and have the same mentality. I mean, Miami is a tough team. They're going to come out and try to throw the first punch. we got to be ready to withstand that. So with that being said, we just got to have a locked-in mentality, ready to go.
Defensively, what have you seen uh, from the group handling those five out offenses since you played like Indiana a couple times in Boston? Uh, you know, because tonight you had a good amount of opportunities against yeah. it. I mean, I feel like like throughout the stretch, when we've whenever we've like put it into the game for our scheme, we've taken steps in the right direction. You know, there has been times where it's just like, oh, what are these guys doing defensively? And now, like as you see it, we're out there communicating more. We're there for each other more. Whenever we get frustrated on defense, it doesn't really matter. It's just like, okay. Help the next guy, push the next guy. At the end of the day, we're going to play as a team. We're not going to get too frustrated to where it's like we're taking we take a step back to when we were losing when I had first got here. You know, it was a lot of frustration at times, a lot of adversity, a lot of obstacles, and we found a way to get over that as a team. So I feel like we for sure like has progressed and excelled in the right direction that we want to go defensively in that area. Appreciate it.